Hey guys, I'm here in Seattle and we are about to embark on a seven night cruise on the Norwegian Bliss to Alaska. So I thought I would just share with you my outfits of the day and I thought I would go ahead and start off with my travel outfit. So we did fly in to Seattle just today. So I thought I would go ahead and show you what I wore while on the plane. And then we're also going to be doing some walking around to the Space Needle and to the Marketplace. And so I just wanted to show you my outfit for travel and walking downtown today. And this video is gonna include all of the daily outfits for while we're on the cruise. I will probably be changing from one outfit for the shore excursions and the days at port and then something completely different for dinner. So stay tuned for all the outfits of the day. We are traveling in June. So the cruise is from June the 4th to June the 11th. So you will know kind of the things to wear during that time frame if you're traveling to Alaska then. I thought I'd just go ahead and start off this outfit of the day and what I wore in Alaska by just showing you my travel outfit here in Seattle. It's about 60 degrees today, so I just wanna show you what I'm wearing. So we had a super early flight. Four o'clock this morning, we got up to head to the airport, and this is what I decided to wear today. So I have this Barefoot Dreams cardigan. It's a little ribbed cardigan, kinda of has a swing style to it. It does have pockets, and and it also has a little hoodie on it as well. So this I had to wear because I was freezing in the airport and in the airplane. And then when we got here, like I said, it's about 60 degrees. So it's a little bit chilly. It's a little drizzle rain today, like it's normal in Seattle. So I do have this on. It's really nice and cozy. And then I do have it on over a Barefoot Dreams V-neck tee. So I just have this black tee on with this cardigan. It's really great neutral. And then I paired it with some Wit & Wisdom skinny jeans. Then I have my Skechers shoes on. They are so comfortable. I can walk around all day in these and they don't hurt my feet. So this is a perfect travel outfit. I usually wear some kind of joggers, but then I thought I'm just gonna keep the same thing on to walk around downtown. So here's the outfit of the day for flying into Seattle and also some downtown walking and some waterfront walking here in Seattle. Here's day two in Seattle and this is embarkation day. So I just wanted to show you what I was wearing today. We are walking to the ship terminal from our hotel. So it's about between a half mile to a mile walk. And it's about 60 degrees outside here in Seattle today, so I kind of wanted to be warm enough for on the ship when we start to sail away until we get our luggage, but then cool enough to be walking for almost a mile. So I just had something really nice and comfortable on for today. I promise my outfits will get better along the trip. But I just have this Abercrombie sweatshirt on, and then these joggers that are from Amazon, they're the May brand, and they are so comfortable and soft. They feel just like the blue and gray from Loft. And then I just have my black Adidas sneakers on. They are good to walk in as well. So this this is the outfit that I'm just going to get on this ship with and walk around to the ship with. So this will be my embarkation outfit for the day. So this is dinner on the first night and what I chose to wear today is this London Times dress. I really like the fit of this dress and the length of it and then I did pair it with a pair of black suede pumps and then you can see the jewelry is an Apple watch and then I have this three piece jewelry set. So there's a rose gold and a white gold and a yellow gold on here. You can wear them separately but I just wanted to mix metals today and this came from Amazon and they are super affordable. They do come as a three pack so you get all three of them and then I have this crisp cross ring and I just wanted to show the earrings that I have are just this earring right here and this is what I have for the first night here on the ship and I also have a jacket that I have to wear over this in case it gets cool in the dining room so let me show you that as well. So here's the jacket it's this really cool shiny material and it has this little peplum style to it so I thought it really really nicely with this fit and flare kind of dress so this is what I have on over top of it if it does get a little bit cool in the dining room. So today is day two we are at sea today and the temperature is 49 degrees it is June the 5th and it's really cool outside so what I have on today is I have this puffer style but it's a really slim fitting vest on it's in this really pretty blush pink color this does come from Maurice's it's really comfortable I like how it has this little stretch on the side but it does keep you really nice and warm and then I do have this cow neck waffle knit kind of like a circle hem sweater on this comes from Walmart it's a time and true brand and I thought that this looked really cute together with this pink and this gray and I did pair it with some dark gray leggings these are also from Walmart they're from the Sophia line super comfortable and then I have my gray my light gray sketchers on 
so comfortable today. So like I say, the temperature is around 49 degrees outside. Of course it is warmer in the ship, but outside if you do wanna go, it's really nice to be a little bit bundled up. So this is what I have on today. Just out and about on the ship are for our day at sea. So it's this vest, really nice and comfortable for Maurice's. This waffle knit, cow neck, circle hem, tunic length sweater. It does cover the bottom area because I do have it with some leggings and some really nice comfortable shoes. And then I will come back for my outfit for dinner tonight. So this is day two on the ship. We are at sea today. And on Norwegian, I've noticed that they have a really relaxed formal night. So tonight is dress up if you want to or you don't have to. So it's their formal night. And so what I just have on today is this red dress. It has this little ruffle detail. It is a sleeveless dress and it is 49 degrees outside. But I do have the same jacket that I put on yesterday for dinner that I'm gonna wear with it today for dinner. So it's that black trench style shiny coat that has a little pebble detail on the back of it. So I will be carrying that over top of this. But I just love the length of this dress, love the color of it. This does come from Amazon, it's still available. Lots of beautiful colors that it comes in. I do also have this in black. It's just a really nice fitting dress. And then I do have it paired with these black suede pumps. I did only bring one pair of dress shoes along on the trip because I was trying to condense on my packing. And then for the jewelry, I just have my Apple Watch. And then I have this bracelet is from Target. Also, this ring is from Target as well. They kind of match each other. And the earrings that I have on are from Dominique. They are like a heart studded style. So this is what I'm wearing today for our dress up or don't dress up night to night. Norwegian is really, really relaxed. I've been on Carnival and Royal Caribbean and Princess and Norwegian. And Norwegian seems to be the most relaxed dress code there is. So this is what I'm wearing for our first dress up or don't not. So today is our first day at port. It is day 30. It is June the 6th. And they say that it is about 52 to 53 degrees outside right now. So this is what I have to wear outside in port at Sitka. So I do have this like fleece, this really, really huge fleece quarter zip pullover. I picked this up from J. Crew Factory. It is so warm. And then I just have a t-shirt underneath it. Then I have these Wit & Wisdom jeans on. They are a skinny jean, so I do have them tucked in my Spiri boots. But I also have a pair of leggings under this as well because I went out on the balcony and it's pretty chilly. So I want to make sure that while I'm out there that I'm not freezing. So I do have a regular pair of just like thin leggings underneath the jeans. And then I also have some nice woolly socks on and then these Spiri deck boots because there's a chance of rain today. So I wanted to just make sure that I have some weatherproof boots on. And these were super affordable. I actually just picked these up before the trip and I got them on Amazon for under $50. There was the good sale. So I was glad to pick these up because I know these get really good reviews and they are nice and waterproof. So this is the outfit that I will be wearing. And I do have a belt bag today. So we're doing a short excursion where we go to the Fortress of the Bears and then we get on a catamaran and go out to a remote island. So I wanted to make sure that I was nice and warm for those activities. But my husband actually had as the camera gear that he is taking. So I am just carrying a belt bag. So I have this lug coupe on, just have my phone sanitizer, the key room card and my ID so I can get out on the gangway. So this is what I have on today. And then I wanna show you the jacket that I'll be wearing most of the days out at port. So this is the Columbia Omni Heat jacket. It has really good thumb holes right here. And it has that reflective material that's on the inside. Let me just unzip this so you can see that. It has this reflective material that's right here that will keep the heat in. So this is a perfect jacket. It does have a hood as well. And the hood has this really nice Sherpa or fleece feeling on the inside. So this is definitely gonna keep you nice and warm. So this is the jacket that I'll be wearing mostly. It is very warm. So I think it will keep me nice and warm in the 50 degree weather today at Sitka. So we're on day three and this is what I chose to wear for the dining room tonight. So this is just a great mock neck, kind of like a sweater knit fit and flare dress comes right above the knees. And then I did pair it with these black suede pumps, which I have packed for all of my dressier options for dinner. So tonight I just had this sweater dress on, beautiful balloon sleeves, really nice mock neck. And I just think that this is a good choice for dinner tonight. So today is day four and we have ported in Juno. I did not get to do my outfit of the day before we left. It was an early morning dock and we had a very early short excursion, so I didn't wanna miss it. So we have just been in Juno and came back on board and we are now pushing back from Juno. And I wanted to show you what I wore today 
and it has been abnormal weather today. It's 64 degrees outside, so really nice and warm, and the sun has been shining all day since we've been here at Juno. So we got really lucky with the temperatures today. So I've got this fleece quarter zip with these pockets in the front, this hot pink color. These come from Amazon and they are really warm. Like I was sweating outside when we did the walk to Nugget Falls. So this is really nice and warm, great quarter zip. And it just have the front pockets if you like that. They do zip up as well. And then I just have a pair of my Wit & Wisdom jeans. I think I brought five different pair of Wit & Wisdom jeans because they're the most comfortable for me to walk around and things. And then I just finished the look off with my Skechers because it was not forecasting rain. I did not wear my spare very waterproof boots. I did wear a great pair of Skechers that are great for walks and we did end up walking to Nugget Falls today at a brisk pace because we only had an hour at Mendenhall Glacier with our short excursion. But this is what I wore today and it is June the 7th but it's abnormal weather for June the 7th at Juneau. Normally they say it's rainy and cold but the sun came out today and it's just a beautiful day. So this is definitely all I needed for today's adventures out on Juneau. So today is day four and tonight we're just going into the complimentary dining area. We did not pay or get the specialty dining packages so we've just been going to the complimentary dining rooms each night. And so this is a really pretty red top. You can see it's got a little bit of sheer sleeve to it. It is from Vince Camuto. It's got this Swiss stock material and then also has um, some lining. It's got a really great v-neck and I'll just show you while I'm here. The necklace that I'm wearing is from Kendra Scott and I also have the matching earrings as well. And then I just paired it with these express pull on pants. They're really nice and comfortable and they do have these little slits on the sides. So they're really nice dressy pants and I chose to just bring on one pair of pants. So that's why I chose black because I can mix and match some of the tops with it and not have to pack as many clothes and then I did just pair it with those black suede pumps that I have for all of my outfits for dinner so this is the outfit for dinner on day number four here at the ship so today is day five we are at Icy Straight Point the temperature is in the 60s so I think that I'm dressed a little too warm for today but I have this quarter zip Patagonia fleece quarter zip and then underneath it I have layered with a black tee and then I have my wet and my jeans on with my sneakers and that is the outfit for the day here at Nasty Street. So it's day five here on the ship and tonight, this is what I've decided to wear to dinner tonight. So I just have this popcorn sweater on. It has a few little slits on the side and it is long enough that you can wear over leggings. And I do have it paired with my Spanx leggings, the Moto style leggings. And then the shoes I chose to wear are these black suede pumps. And I forgot to tell you guys, every night for dinner, I've been carrying this clutch. This is a cute little clutch. I wanna show it to you up close. So it has that fold over style. So I just throw my phone in this part, but then it has this zipper at the top and you can throw stuff all the way down to the bottom. So this goes to about almost my elbow and these come in some other colors, but I thought black again was a great choice because it would go with all of the dresses and all of the outfits that I had for dinner. So this clutch has been so good to carry for dinner. So this is the outfit that I'll be wearing tonight for the dining room. Today is day six on the cruise and it is June the 9th. We were in Ketchikan today. So I didn't do my outfit of the day before we left because we wanted to get off the ship as soon as we docked because we weren't there for very long and we had a short excursion that we needed to get to. So I'm doing it when we come back on board after being in Ketchikan today. So the weather was forecasted to be around 57 degrees. It was really nice and pleasant. It was raining when we first got off. So I do have a rain jacket and I'll show you the rain jacket that I did wear today. I brought two rain jackets with me. One is a thicker one and then one is a very thin one. So I thought I would only need the thin one today. So what I have on is this really cute sweater. It's in this navy color. It's got a V-neck balloon sleeves and it's just the right length that you don't have to tuck it or anything. And this was suitable enough today for the 57 degree weather. And then I have it paired with these pull on style old navy jeans. They're the rock star jeans. I got them I think last year. I don't know if they still sell them or not. And then I have my Sperry waterproof boots because it did start raining on us when we first got off the ship but then it turned out to be a really nice pretty day during the lumberjack show that we went to but let me just show you the rain jacket that i wore today so this is the rain jacket it's from columbia i purchased this off amazon before we came on this trip because it's packable so it actually packs within itself in this pocket right here so you see this mesh pocket you fold it up and it will pack within itself so you don't have to worry about an extra pouch to have to 
keep a track of. It actually packs inside itself, which I have had other packable coats and things, but they had their own pouch. So you had to kind of keep up with that. So that's what I like about this one is it completely packs inside itself. And I got it in this navy color, but I think these are really a great price on Amazon and they're really nice and lightweight. So you can see how lightweight they are. So if it's not a really cold day, this is perfect for it. It has this really nice hoodie that does cinch. So this was the outfit that I wore today in Ketchikan, but it was rain. So I did have my rain jacket on and my waterproof boots on. And these waterproof boots are really good because they have this wool detail to them on the top, on the upper. And then on the inside, it's got this really nice warm material as well. It's got the three ohm insulation. So really nice if it's on those cold days. So today is day number six. It is June the 9th and the weather's been really nice today but we're starting to get out at sea heading from Ketchikan to Victoria, British Columbia and it's got a little bit chilly because the wind is really blowing out there. So this is what I chose to wear for dinner tonight. So I have this really cute pink top. It's really flowy, really nice and in the back of it it does have like a tie in the back so that makes it a little bit dressier too. I like the little extra in the back. And then I have these express pull on pants. I did wear these earlier in the trip with a different top, but I also have it paired with those black suede pumps as well. So the jewelry that I have on today is my Apple watch and this layered necklace from Kendra Scott with the matching earrings. So this is the outfit for dinner tonight on day six. So it's day seven here on the cruise, the very last day. It's so sad when it's the last day, but I am excited to go home and see my kiddos. So, this is what I'm wearing today. We're porting in Victoria, British Columbia. It's our last port. Then we'll be heading to Seattle tonight. So it's very late arrival. We're supposed to get there at 7.30, but we've run into some weather issues. And so we may be arriving a little bit later. So I'm not sure exactly how much time we're gonna have on ports, probably about three hours. So this is what I'll be wearing. It says that the forecast is rain which is no surprise. I do have my lightweight rain jacket, which I think I've shown you in some of the other outfits of the day, or I know I showed it to you on what I wore versus what I packed. So check out that video too. It's a really good video to show you just exactly how much I packed. And also if I need, if I overpacked or if I underpacked. So check that video out too. I have a playlist for the Alaska cruise. I've got a vlog on which ports we went to and the things that we did there and then the outfit of the day and then also what I wore versus what I packed. So those are three great videos from this Alaska cruise. So it is June the 10th and the temperature is supposed to be upper 50s when we get into Victoria with a chance of rain. So I've got this polar fleece quarter zip pullover. This is another one of the Amazon Essentials. I showed you a pink one that I had worn earlier in the cruise. These are really nice and warm, so I did choose to wear another one of these. They have the nice pockets in the front. They're not the kangaroo pockets. They don't go all the way through, but they do have two nice pockets if you want to warm your hands as you're walking out and about. And then I do have another pair of jeans on. These are some a good American jeans, and they have like a medium wash. I was trying not to bring a pair of jeans for every day, hoping that I could wear a pair or two twice during the trip. And then I also have on these Skechers, which I may change depending on when we get in port because we're just about to get to port. I may actually have to change into my Spiri waterproof boots if it is raining. So what I have on for now and where I've been around the ship, because basically we've been on the ship all day long because we don't get in until so late for the port. So it's my Skechers love them. They're so comfortable. And this is what I'll be wearing today in port at Victoria. Really nice and comfortable and warm. So it's day seven. It is our last night on ship and we are going to be porting in Victoria, British Columbia. So we're actually having dinner before because we're not supposed to get there until 7 30. But we have had a lot of wind and not really storm but some high pressure so it has slowed down the ship so we're actually going to get to victoria 30 minutes later but we decided we wanted to do dinner before we we're supposed to be getting off so we have an early dinner tonight and i just wanted to show you what i'm wearing for the last night here on the ship for dinner and this is actually a really casual outfit really nice and comfortable but i dressed it up a little bit with the shoes so this is a barefoot dreams sweater and so it's really a nice swing sweater very long then i also have these barefoot dreams leggings on they're ruched on the side super comfortable i can't remember if this is the cozy chic or the cozy chic light collection but i just thought with this whole monochromatic look that it really looked good and could be pulled off for dinner but things that i have noticed here on this ship 
is pretty much, I don't know if it's the itinerary or just Norwegian in general, because I feel like the last Norwegian trip that I was on, it was more dressier than it is on this one. So most of the people that have been coming to dinner are still dressed in whatever they wear out to court, very casual. So this, I just wanted to be really nice and comfortable and warm. So I have this two piece Barefoot Dreams on. So it's a sweater with the leggings. And then I just paired it with the black suede pumps that I brought for dinner every night and just made it a little bit dressier. So this is what I'm wearing for the last night on ship. This is day seven.